As you are saved, you have to grow. That's why you come to church. As you are saved, you have to grow. So, you will grow. And you are taught to grow. That growth has an evidence. If that evidence of growth is not found in you, you are not growing. You know, some folks think spiritual growth is quoting scriptures. Memorizing scriptures. That's not spiritual growth. Of course, you cannot grow without knowing the scriptures. But knowing the scriptures is not spiritual growth. You didn't hear that. You can't grow without knowing the scriptures. But knowing the scriptures is not spiritual growth. Growth is evidenced by service. Service is the proof of growth. A typical example. Please pay attention. As babies, we nurture them. We fed them. Took food to their mouth. Wore them clothes. Wore them pampas. They poo-pooed on us. We clean their bum bum. There are times the mother will be breastfeeding the baby. The baby will take the milk and look at the mother. And put it on her face. She doesn't beat the baby. She cleans her face and feeds the baby. Because as babies, we do everything for them. We lay them on the bed. We pamper them to sleep. There are times some children will refuse to sleep. You carry them on your back and be doing like this. You become a musician by force. Because if they don't sleep, you cannot sleep. So you have to dance around, be dancing with children on your back. Then the child will laugh and hit you. Say, look at this stupid child. I'm trying to make you sleep. <laughs> what are you trying to do? You want to make the baby sleep so you can sleep. So we make them sleep. We feed them. We clothe them. We pampas. We are them pampas. We clean their nonsense, we clean all the rubbish on them, but we don't do it for life. We don't do it for life. Any child that would demand that service for life will be a lifetime punishment. No more a delight or a pleasure. Am I communicating at all? As they grow up, the next thing you begin to hear is, pick that pen and bring for me. She laughs. She's excited that I sent her. She will pick the pen and bring it and say, anything else? Move that chair. She's happy now that my investment for the last few years, she cannot tell me thank you by service. That I have not wasted my time. That her head is not coconut. That her head is a productive head. Am I talking at all? The proof of growth is service. Suddenly they sweep the house. They clean the house. There's no water. They go and fetch water. They put water on fire. They clean your bedroom. They make your bed. They take the father's clothes. They wash it and iron. What is happening? They are proving to you that you didn't waste your time on their head. Children, once they start growing, the next thing that evidence growth is service. You've been in this church five years. You are still carrying coconut head. You're not serving anybody. You still want to be served. You still want people to be running around for you. When will you serve others? You come to church after everything has been done. You look for a nice seat to sit down. Before we close, you have disappeared. Look at you. You think you're being smart. You're being stupid. You're being a capital fool. Capital one. Why did Jesus call them fools? He called them fools because the things they should have known, they didn't know it. Am I talking to somebody here? You're not serving anybody. You're serving yourself. You're making all of us serve you. And you're serving, so everything is you. Even Jesus is serving you. The Father is serving you. The Holy Ghost is serving you. You are the center of focus. You have become the Lord. You are Lord. You are Lord. You have not even died. Talk more of rising from the dead. Five years of labor on your head and you cannot even see the need to serve anybody else. And you are happy. You have not so learned Christ. You have not so learned Christ. The child begins to move to evidence that the child is growing. 
You can send a child on errands. At a point, you send a child to start paying bills. Go and pay water bill. Go and pay light bill. Go and settle that. Go and settle because the child is growing. At a point, you start giving the child money to take care of certain things. The child is growing. At a point, the child leaves your house, gets a house for himself, and begins to send you money. Because the focus is not the child. The focus is service. Am I talking to somebody here? 